Hello everyone, um, my name is Tatiana, um, I'm currently a mom, my little one is not with me at the moment because she is teething and she is not really feeling her best. I'm here to give my testimony, um, I hope that this helps a lot of moms or women who are in my situation or somewhat close. So starting off when I was a child, I didn't really have a great upbringing. High school, I was always bullied in high school for almost everything. Well, I was always thinking, why am I here? I went to college. I didn't know if I wanted to go to college or not. I thought, my mom, she kept on telling me, if you go to college, you'll have you know, a better life. I went to college for culinary. I met a guy who really wasn't good for me while I was in college and I ended up having a baby and I ended up getting pregnant. The father of my child, his family just kept um, harassing me about abortion. I didn't want to get rid of my daughter and I don't believe in killing babies or abortion. The whole time I kept hearing God's voice, do not murder, thou shalt not murder, do not murder. I knew that abortion was killing. At the time, I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to kill my baby because, I mean, I fell in love with this baby as I was pregnant. Feeling her kick and moving around in my stomach, I started to fall in love with her and I was just like, well, why would I kill a baby? I had nothing, she did nothing to me. I wanted to get in touch with God so much because I needed help, I didn't know what to do. And everybody just kept on telling me, just pray to God, ask God for guidance, ask God for guidance. And the whole time I was trying to do that, I always had distractions distracting me from God. Little did I know that God was already working on my life. My OBGYN had called me and they gave me a list of shelters. And I called every shelter but one and they were like, we're booked, we're booked, we're booked, sorry. And before I called this one shelter, I prayed to God and said, God, please send me to a place, give me a place where I can go and I can praise your name without being ridiculed, bullied, harassed, mocked. And I can just praise your name and be in your presence and be happy, be secure, be safe, and I can get everything I need for my baby. Little did I know, God and Star Ministries was on that list. So I had called in a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful, special lady in my life who has done so much for me. Her name is Yara. She answered the phone and she get, asked me a bunch of questions and I told her that, yeah, I'm in a place, but I'm not really secure. She said, give it about a week and her, um, her boss, which is my wonderful um, director, Miss Elena, she's awesome. She had called me a week later and she asked me a bunch of questions and then she said, would you like to come in for an interview? I said, I would love to. Came in for an interview. Ms. Lena told me that um, Sierra was like, I remember her she, and she was smiling and she was happy. So she said that I just picked you. And to imagine that there was probably a hundred of other girls who wanted to get in into this very special shelter who provides diapers, wipes, anything that you can imagine that you need. It provides, it even provides transportation and that's hard to find. I was just so ecstatic and she said, we only got one room, it's on the third floor. And I was like, I don't care as long as you got a room. The next week I was in, I prayed to God and I said, God, please, please help me find a place. And he did it within a weekend. God can do some very, very amazing things in your life. Well, God in Stone Ministries has done so much for me. So I want to say thank you to everyone who has provided for God in Stars. No matter how much you donate, $5, $100, $500. Promise you that God sees that. He smiles upon those who, you know, who help. And I appreciate everyone who does everything. No matter what you donate, money, clothes, diapers, it all means something to us. Especially the moms that are here. We don't really have much in this shelter. It provides so much for us. So thankful for you guys. For the women who are in my situation, I just want to say keep your head up and everything will be okay. God is never too late or too early. He's always on time. What we go through is going to prepare us for what's coming along. And I have no idea what my future will look like, but I know God has big things for us all. But God tells us in his word that children are blessings. So why would God give a blessing to you if he didn't trust you? Keep your head up and keep it pushing and always ask God for help. Happy Mother's Day to you all. Bye.